this is Chris and Lamb of God. You're watching Rock and Metal News. My name is Mark. I play guitar in Suicide Silence, and you're watching Rock Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with an album review of White Chapel, which is the upcoming fourth studio album by the American deathcore band White Chapel to be released worldwide on June 19th, 2012 through Metal Blade Records. This is clearly the best White Chapel album ever in my opinion because of the unbelievable diversity in all of the songs and throughout the entire album. Quote, there's a lot of variety on this record. It has the fastest songs we've ever written on it but it also has the slowest songs we've ever written. So whether you like the slower grooves of a new era of corruption or the really fast riffs of This Is Exile, there's something for everyone on this album, explained Wade. He also added it also has as much stronger sense of dynamics because if you're just smashing someone over the head 100% of the time, it can get mon monotonous and there's more melody to it. Some of the courses are really dark, but have so much melody you could almost sing over them, which is something we would never do, but having that dynamic is exciting to us. So let's start with the record uh, track by track review. The first one is Make It Bleed. This song starts off with an amazing piano melody, then a riff comes in, and then the death core. Top, off, uh, top of the line death core for sure. Uh, that goes into this clean guitar part for a bit, then into the first solo of the album. This solo is over the top amazing White Chapel style breakdown, which makes it sound very, very cool. Uh, the song ends with really, uh, really great guitar parts over some brutal deathcore. This is the most diverse song in the entire album, and it really starts the album off perfectly. The second song is Hate Creation. It starts off with a very new metal riff, then it goes into White Chapel's deathcore sound. After about a minute of that, it goes into this almost Slipknot-like feel. A new metal riff repeats with aggressive spoken word uh, work done by Phil. Uh, then it heads right into a breakdown for a bit, then back into the very fast drumming deathcore. Uh, then it ends with an outro breakdown and a scream by Phil. The song has a really groovy feel to it. Surely one of my favorites on the album. The next song is called Culturalist. The song starts off very heavy and brutal right from the beginning. The double kick in this song is absolutely unbelievable. Phil's vocal phrasing in this song is just top notch. Uh, there's another amazing guitar solo in this one. The solo is a lot slower than the guitar solo in the first track, but it's still really awesome. The end of the solo really reminds me of the beginning of Chinatown by Van Halen. Kind of has that feel. The song ends with this real gent feel uh, with some real eerie guitar over it. Another brutal, amazing Whitechapel song. The next song is called I Dementia. This song starts off with cool effects on the guitar, then it gets really heavy. The song is a lot slower than most on the album. It has a real cool feel to it. Uh, the lyrics are usual for Phil are amazing in this song. The vocals are probably the most catchy, uh, most likely due to the reason certain lines are repeated at least four times. The song slows down around the halfway point, then goes right into an amazing slow breakdown. Lots of awesome chugging in this song. Then another short solo comes in. Then a very heavy outro that ends with some cool guitar. The next song is called Section 8. This song was released on the Recorrupted EP last year. This is my opinion, one of the best songs they have. This has everything you could ask for in a Whitechapel song. Amazing breakdowns, fast-paced bl fast blast beats, amazing drumming, awesome phrasing. Amazing guitar solo and a sick vocal break in the end by Phil. This is a perfect ending to a Whitechapel song in my opinion. The lyrics in this song are very thought out. The next song is Faces. This song starts off extremely heavy right from the beginning then to a real cool chorus with a breakdown over it. About halfway through the song they slow it down and the drummer goes right back into the blast beats and into an, a kind of a mini guitar solo type riffs with harmonizing. The chorus in this song is very catchy. This is clearly one of the best songs on the album. The next track is called Dead Silence. This song starts off with an awesome guitar riff, then Phil's vocals bring us into the song with a vocal break. This, the, this one guitar riff in the song really reminds me of the first riff in Fire from the Sky by Shadows Fall. It almost sounds identical to that. Uh, this, is, this song is extremely heavy and has many awesome guitar licks in it. Real cool, trashy, Feel in this song. The song ends with clean guitar playing, the awesome guitar riff that sounds like Shadows Fall, and some other random clean guitar parts. 
The Night Remains is the next track. The song starts with some clean guitar, then right into a fast deathcore breakdown. Then comes some more awesome vocals from Phil. Really awesome vocal cut part in this song. Uh, this is a really bouncy song. There's some spoken word stuff going on. And this is another real cool, diverse song off the album. The next track is called Devoid. This starts off with more piano, then into a breakdown that pretty much goes through the two minutes of the song with some amazing guitar harmonizing and stuff. Uh, this is really a very cool short track, no vocals, just instrumental in that one. And the last track on the album is called Possibilities of an Impossible Existence. Here is a perfect ending to the amazing album. This song really closes off the album well. The guitar parts in this song really give a cool vibe, cool ending vibe to the song. Awesome breakdown in this song, and then the song ends with the piano part that the album starts off with. This album is a complete masterpiece for White Chapel. While frontman Phil Bozeman has proven himself to be one of the most formidable vocalists and lyricists in metal of the last few years, his previous efforts pale in comparison to this contribution to this new record. You can easily tell Phil put a lot of work into the lyrics and the recording of the vocals for this new record. And the drumming, Whitechapel hired a new drummer named Ben, and he did absolutely amazing on this album. The double kick is extremely fast. He really does have some of the cool spills, and every drum part he wrote for this new album fits absolutely perfect. The guitar work on this album is clearly the best compared to any previous Whitechapel album. The solos are amazing, the guitar licks are amazing, the harmonizing is great, and the riffs are extremely brutal and heavy. But they do have three guitarists, so this is a little advantage. The songs on this album will be very amazing to see live all summer long on the Mayhem Festival in 2012. Whitechapel are officially the masters of deathcore. From start to finish, this album is absolutely amazing, and this is why we're rating Whitechapel's new self-titled album 9 out of 10. Thank you, Whitechapel, for this amazing album. Make sure to go out and buy this record when it comes out June 19th in North America. It is well worth it. Best songs, from our opinion, Make It Bleed, Hate Creation, I Dementia, Section 8, and Faces. And before we close out, we just want to tell you guys we'll be conducting an interview with Whitechapel frontman Phil on Thursday, May the 31st, 2012. And we are wondering if you had any questions you want to ask him. If you do, please leave them, uh, leave them in the comments section down below in this video. Thanks for tuning in and please subscribe.